Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let me show layers. First one, we have composition of trees. Let's select this first composition. This is right side tree and this is center tree and this is left side. And also we have mountain layer for background and we have clouds, first clouds, class 2 and class 3 and let's one sky layer so in this time let's enable all of them layers and create null object for fake camera movements right mouse new and null object and let's add the name camera movements for moved anchor point center hold control and double click pen behind icon classification tool select all of them layers without sky let's unsolo a sky and link to camera layer and select null object press s open scale and create scale chip frame and go to seven seconds and press n for select work area and change scale like this and preview animation okay this is basic scale animation and let's go to first second hold shift press p and create new passing chip frame and let's move the down a little bit, go to last Q frame and move the up and select these Q frames and make it easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And in this time for fake parallax, select this layer M. Let's see. And let's press P, create new pass in Q frame, move the down and go to last Q frame and move the up. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And select these clouds. Select this cloud one, two, three. Press P and create new person Q frame. And go to last second. And select first cloud. Let's move to left and cloud two. Move to right and cloud three. Move to left. Okay, that's good. And let's create animation for this layer three. Close this keyframe settings and open conversation tree and go to first second. So I'm gonna create animation with CC Bend for wiggle animation. Go to FS presses, search effect CC Bend and select the CC Bender. Let's use for first T1 and let's see. Okay, we can create animation like this. And let's use expression for loop and random animation. Let's hold Alt and click amount time icon and write wiggle 1, 8. And for down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And let's close settings. Again, use CC Bend for T2. And let's hold Alt, click here, and write wiggle 1, 8. Nice. And as you can see, there are random animations. And let's select T2 and copy CC Bender effect. Let's copy. And select this to T3, Control V, let's see. Nice. And T4 and T6. Very good. So back to main composition, let's see. Okay, very nice. And select these compositions. Let's press P and create new person two frames. Go to last second and let's move it down. And select this right side tree, move it up a little bit, and left side, move it down. Let's see. Nice, very good. So let's see animation like this very good and let's add some lens create new adjustment layer add name lens and go to fs presses search effect lens and select lens flare let's use for lens adjustment layer and change lens type 35 millimeters and move to right like this and let's create flare center two frame go to last second and move to the left like this and we can change blending 
and brightness. And select this lens, let's move to behind of conversations. Let's change brightness more. Okay, and let's select this lens, Control D for duplicate, move tab, and change brightness, and change lens type. Okay. Nice. So finally, let's create new adjustment layer and add the name blur. And select this blur. Let's move to behind of layer trees and go to FS presets, search effect Gaussian blur, select Gaussian blur, use for blur layer and change blurness like this. And in this time, let's create blurness keyframe and go to here, change blurness zero. And select blurness, press U, select keyframes, make it easy. Okay, and right now I want to make blurness for these trees. Let's use Gaussian blur for this conversation and, and create blurness keyframe. Go to here and change blurness 50 or let's change 40. Okay, and also let's use Gaussian Blur for this conversation and create Blurness keyframe and go to here, change Blurness 40. And let's one use conversation and create Blurness keyframe, go to here, change 40. Nice, this is much more realistic. And finally, select these clouds, press P, and go to last position keyframe, and let's move it up. And this cloud. So, guys, thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments, and have a good day. Good luck.